Um, I used to stream on a, a different channel called the Kinder Co-op before Chris and I decided to join join teams. Um, and like I had like sort of like a mission statement there that just basically in essence kind of just wanted to make it some people understood that like that that we are we are one and like that was the point of it um to just become like this united united family uh and, and i'm actually just going to post this up in chat i'm just going to copy it so you guys can see what i wrote in uh what is it probably <clears throat> Uh, what is it? 2020 now, October of 2018, when I started streaming on the Kinder Co-op, <clears throat> and this is my like mission statement then, and I still follow this ideal, these ideals now, that that it's just welcome to the colony, which is this is welcome to the community, it's just welcome to the Shake the Box, you know, it's the same exact concept, but my quest as a, a streamer, or just in part of this, not even just a streamer, but just a, a collective, just a one cog in the wheel of this community, is that our quest is to really collectively gather camaraderie of kindred spirits, which I feel like we all are, uh, to collaborate, which we do on a lot of different projects, hence Gale Guy's emote that he has, that he just shared with us earlier today, that Book Lover made his freaking emote, which is awesome. Um, so, and we're collaborating with all kind of stuff, artistically, creatively, uh, the fact that the book lover is making like ideas for business ideas for man jerks, um, the puppet show. And it just like, it just goes all over the place that we're trying to help today. We've been trying to like talk to Falcon about ideas that he can do for his dream rewards. And there's no like jealousy. There's no tension. There's no, you know, we're all just pushing each other forward. We're not like, taking it away we're not trying to pull the carpet out from each other's feet we're we're just honestly genuinely like riding this crazy wave together and just like lifting each other up so that's just collaborate that's just one word and contribute and create all together which we're doing in a cooperative effort of uniting our communities which is exactly what we're doing as we're we've been uniting this crazy streaming community this we're this little corner of the internet this little niche little spot where there's just a ton of us who have just found a home within each other and a family within each other. Um, and then, uh, you know, one of the reasons why I briefly mentioned before that my name at Astra 224 is today, tomorrow, forever. But then together is a part of that. And I, I truly believe that we are one. We are. <laughs> Read those wholesome stories. I could talk for hours, but basically I'm super uh, <clears throat> closeted and not comfortable talking about my sexuality, but this is a whole hype train has made me feel so good about being me. And I love you. Dude, we love you too, Falcon. And honestly, KK5 Dyer, what's going on? Welcome in. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for being a part of this chaos. Um, yeah, we love it. It's, 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 it's back at you, dude. <laughs> and Fluff as well. Fluff, what the hell? Fluff, thank you. <laughs> thank you for being a part of this crazy thing as well. I mean, I've had, and I, I also just even within personal messages, I've had such crazy conversations with some of you guys about, about everything, just emotional insecurities, about depression, about it, about this even, the, the concept of sexuality and just being able to support each other and accept each other and whatever it is, whoever you are, creed, gender, race, religion, uh, you know, whatever, whoever you are. This, you know, just come hang out. Who cares? Like, take your guard down and let's just be friends and support each other. Be family and support each other. And we can do anything if we could do it together, right? I, as far as I'm concerned and whatever interest you have or whatever you're trying to do with the fluff. What is happening? Oh, there's a dragon. There's a dragon. And back to the immunity. I <laughs> love you all. Thank you, guys. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm sorry I went on this crazy rant. We haven't even played. I haven't even done anything in this game for so long. I don't even. I don't even know what this guy is saying to us. Oh, I'm gonna have to <laughs> go back and watch it. This card has been added to your library. Oh, we got all of them. This card has also been added to our library. Beautiful speech. Dagger two blades. <laughs> thank you. I don't even know if it was, but thank you. I get, I've, like, 
um, like the feelings of like when you're involved with something, but you don't, uh, you don't feel like you deserve it. Um, what is a term for it? I know that there's a term for it, but it very much confuses me. Like at every corner, I feel like you guys are going to find out something that doesn't exist. Like, like, like we don't serve this, but at the same time, like, what is there? What is that word even mean? And why does it even have to come up? Like, just be happy and yeah, imposter syndrome. Yes, that's a term. Um, but it, it's like, I, you know, I, as much as I like think that way, I immediately have been trying to ax it and just understand that this is just like a, a collective thing. Like, this is just a, a, a group effort. Everyone in this community is amazing and welcome, no matter what. And Jake the Boss, both Chris and uh, Jimmy and Chris are both amazing leaders. Thank you uh, to have helped me uh, through tough days with their streams. I mean, and, and, and you as well, Wirt. Like, y you have to understand that it goes both ways because, you know, Chris and I are, are just human. Um, and, and without you guys being here, and, like, sometimes there'll be days that, you know, no one's hanging or I feel depressed. I mean, we talk about that. I talked about it a lot um, with you guys. Disgrace Warrior is part of it. We have to see what these cards are. Um, that I'll, I'll be a, a part of a stream. I do that you don't want to stream. I have anxiety before I start to stream. Or even during the stream, some stuff happens. And then, like, the end of that stream, I'm feeling, like, you know, I'm really down and out on myself. But then, like, we'll get into Discord. Or I have some private conversations with you guys. Or just, you know, just uplifting each other wherever that may be. Or even just during the stream itself when, when things are going wrong. And, <clears throat> oh, look at these ships. And, you know, we have each other's back. I, I remember work. Like, how about a long time ago when, when that thing happened on the internet? That somebody was, like, giving you a hard time on, like, some random YouTube page. And we jumped in there. And we, like, you know, defended your honor in some YouTube comments. Like, like a freaking year ago. Half a year ago. And, I, and also keep in mind that I've only been a part of, like, I've been with Chris, obviously. I've known this guy pretty much. <laughs> I feel like... I, I've said this before. I, I've known Chris more years of my life than I have, and so I've been alive knowing Chris for more years than my life without him. So he's become just—he's just like another half of who I am. He's another part of who I am. Uh, his identity helps make up my own. Um, <clears throat> but like, even though I've been a part of his Shake the Box community uh, for a long time, or your community for a long time, rather. Um, I only just came into this a few months ago, and that transition in itself was a, a really unusual experience. And personally, I have to thank you guys for being so welcoming to me, <laughs> bro the lion. Because um, I didn't know what to expect. It easily could have been that I came into this situation and have been like just excommunicated because um, we're not the same. You know, as much as Chris and I. There's a lot of things that you'll notice by watching us both that are similar. You know, we have a lot of... We wouldn't have been as close friends without having that. But at the same time, we're different people and we stream differently. You know, even something as simple as having different commands, um, different vibes, whatever it is. We're different people, ultimately. Even, you know, different games or whatever the case is. But uh, you were accepting and welcoming and it wasn't... I, I would never ever want to take that for granted and just assume that that was gonna happen. This is the internet, Grace. What is wh this? Is like the craziest day. This is un uh, this is unbelievable. And I'm playing Thronebreaker, and I this is the irony of this whole thing. And like this game, every time I play this game, I'm like, who wants to see Thronebreaker? No one even wants to hang out. Like, how many guys are, are you even here to watch Thronebreaker? Like that even in itself blows my mind open. That I, ha you're all hanging out here, and wait, I haven't even legitimately. What content is this? I haven't even done anything in the game for 20 minutes, a half hour. I feel like at this point, yet here we are hanging out together. Like it's that's that proves to me that this is this is elevated beyond gaming. This is not about video games anymore. This is about a community and just chilling and and being here for each other, no matter what. <laughs> Dash has been left out and needs some love. Oh gosh, yes he does. Where is it? The Sheen. Good point. 
<laughs> he's also a part of it. He is also a part of this community. <laughs> Thank you for that follow, KK5 Dyer. You've come into an unusual situation, I feel like, or maybe it is a usual situation of love and friendship. Um, and support, but <laughs> just very concentrated in a finite amount of time. And I hope you do enjoy the content in the future. We are live seven days a week. For anyone who knows, I guess I should at some point give some information considering that Chris will be streaming at some point today. Uh, that Chris also is here on the channel and will be streaming today. Is this person a bot? Uh, yeah, Mouster Shardingus is a bot. Why? Why? <laughs> I keep trying to go over here. Um, I also want to put up this. If anyone who doesn't know, tonight is movie night. We'll talk about that quick too. But Chris will be here. And then tonight we're going to watch a movie in Discord. Hopefully it works. Baronon and Jossie D might end up streaming the movie tonight because my, my thing has been really weird. And also, we have this fluffy man who is a part of the community. His name is Dash, the Stampede. Yes, he's named after <laughs> Dash, the Stampede, and Trigon. <laughs> and he likes trees. <laughs> and is also a part of the community. <laughs> and he thanks you very much for this tree. <laughs> he's a good man. Let's get back to the game. Here we go, Biscotti. Just because. Just because we can, because it's there. Window Ledge! Yes, his true name, Window Ledge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. With Aranon, so that. So then you. Uh, so then you to everyone, and Jimbo giving <laughs> her a welcome place as well. Oh, for Jossie? So Jocelyn has been having a hard time for now, for a while now, especially in quarantine. Um, she has expressed smolt. So the, you're talking about Jossie D. So Varanon is referring to Jossie D when he says Jocelyn, just in case anyone doesn't know. Um, <clears throat> oh, where I've made friends and gotten to know more people <laughs> than, <laughs> than in real life. I, that's what I feel like. Like when I want to hang out. Like even last night, I wanted to hang out with my friends. Yeah, I briefly mentioned the story. Those of you might have been in Discord. But I had friends that I wanted to hang out with that were local. And like I wanted to just come in to come into Discord and just watch Ninjago and chill. And I was like, you know, this I don't know, I just hang out with my family instead, which is important. So Joss uh so Veranon says Jossie D has been having a really hard time now, especially in quarantine. She has expressed multiple times, including now, how much better she has felt since joining the community here and on the Discord. Yeah, and like I agree with that. Even like the fact that you guys can share photos and like awesome. It was awesome that like last night when we were in Discord, Jossie D and Varanon, um, that even though you weren't even in the 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 voice chat, because we have that voice chat that everyone kind of comes in and hangs out in, but then there's something called the voice to text chat bot or box or whatever that while people are hanging out in voice chat, it's like a known thing that you can kind of just pop in and send messages to the people who are talking in the chat bot box and like you're gonna get a response so everybody's like knows that it's important to always look at that voice text chat when you're hanging out in the sh and just ta chatting in discord because we want to be even inclusive to the people who don't have the opportunity to talk like just because you can't speak out loud maybe you're in a, in a position at home where you can't talk loud um like creedmoor for instance who's got like a his roommate lives really close uh, to him so he can't speak through the walls or else he gets woken up or that you just don't feel comfortable with your own voice maybe you don't um y you rather have the text be the voice of yourself or, or whatever the case is whatever reason you have to not want to speak out loud you can still do that and have a community and conversation with people who will welcome you <laughs> feed the dashy boy yes thank you, everyone <laughs> It's welcome to talk with me. And yes, feed the beast. <laughs> the bits are all actually for Dash. Thank you. He also very much appreciates it. I'll give him extra special treats. I know it's a lot of emotes. Tarot card read. Hell yeah. Good time for that. Is it shout out time? It always is shout out time. Do it. Throw them up. Throw up those shout outs, Wirt. And that's uh, even that. All right, so that, I don't even know if you're really referring to like this exclamation point, SOs, or, but like something like that even. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm shuffling them right now. I also have a dashi on my lap. Um, that I feel like is even an unusual thing. Like, oftentimes when we're in the stream and in each other's channels and stuff like that, like we can be streaming or one of you guys could be streaming and we're just like, oh, don't forget to check out this channel or these guys or hang out with them. <laughs> it's just like this, you know? And like a lot of other streamers would get pissed and be like, oh, you know, no advertising on the channel. But it's like, whatever, man, we're part of this freaking thing together. <laughs> I know, he ne Wirt needs all the cups for all that water. The scouts rode all right. before with me right We got something. Them. We're doing something in the game. To find safe passage for the rest of the force. One among them probed for the quagmire's depth. That is cool. Five L's in hand. Suddenly, all heard a loud clang. Okay. So they they must have hit the statue that's under the water. It was like missing their own face. The scouts dismounted. Then he Oh, yes. The there we go. Another tarot Once card. I love it. I love this. I feel like I haven't been doing tarot cards a lot, so I'm happy to do them. The sculpture was exceedingly well preserved, <laughs> save one detail. Someone had removed its face, <laughs> leaving a black hole in its stead. Search the environs. Ordered Neve. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> I always seem to do well on SDI tests. I keep getting positive results. <laughs> oh my god. Bad Twitch. Twitch tricked you? Wait, what did Twi how did Twitch trick you? <laughs> Because we guess we should have just changed it to just chatting. <laughs> All right, uh, Jossie D. Dude, Baba is a game that intimidates me. Okay, <clears throat> can finally do this. The dolphins are the best. I think that I like. I'm still, I'm still kind of. I mean, I don't have the dragon yet. Oh, I. But I really, really, really like the unicorn. Okay, so, the scouts dismounted and then heaved the bronze statue from the mire. Once it was cleaned of the slime and muck, Meave instantly recognized its elven handiwork. The sculpture was exceedingly well preserved, save one detail. Someone had removed its face, leaving a black hole in its stead. Search the environs. Amongst some brambles, they discovered the entrance to a vast. Tomb. Oh, I was supposed to move my its face cam up for this open. game. I totally forgot. On the ground before them lay scattered bones. Oops. Some yellowed with age, <laughs> others fresh, cracked and tattered from having been gnawed. <laughs> Jocelyn D and her new espresso machine. True. Thank you, Falcon. Back at you, dude. <clears> hmm. <throat> Okay, so amongst the brambles, they discovered an entrance to the vast tomb. Its doors have been open, and the ground before it scattered bones. Some yellowed with age, others fresh, cracked, and tattered from having been gnawed. Uh, yeah, let's enter the tomb? What? Like, come on. Eve stood silent and contemplating Can't say no to the this. tomb's threshold. Then, torch in hand, she entered and waded into fetid waters. Oof. Her soldiers followed close, arms at the ready. I love that she goes into these brows. things. Like Fresco she didn't send someone else in. Walls depicted Angren swamps and the beasts that prowled them. Two words were inscribed over the largest of the horrors. <laughs> say I. Gvern Iker. The Ooh. bloody mistress. This is a good D&D character's whispered. name. Gvern Iker. The bloody mistress. Hey, Barnabas! Our little gnome homie. Suddenly, a roar thundered from deeper inside the tomb. Meave turned from the frescoes to see monstrous eyes blazing in the dark. Even Ake's normally steely mean betrayed a raw, consuming fear. Oh no! Oh, it's a fight! Oh cool, we get to end on a fight. Awesome. I better, I know it's too late. Well, it's not too late because we're still streaming, but I really should have moved this up for this game and I forgot this entire time. <clears throat> So to whom had this half-sunken, ivy-stoned tomb belonged, no one in recent memory could say for sure. The elves who built the structure had fled Angren's past century. Uh, the locals only knew it as a final resting place for a great warrior. Look how cool this looks. A defender of the marshes against ancient evil. Yes! You got it? You got it? Yes, K. KK, good job. Wait, did you did you message them? Um, so basically, 
uh, you get the emotes beans by being present during a stream in which they're like gifted and in order for them to be like in order for that to happen um, during the stream for every I think 300 bits that are donated or uh, every sub or a paid sub or gifted sub gives a bunch of of the emotes out so those are some of the examples of some of the emotes that there that are there and that's that's pretty much how it happens and and like we unlocked like all of them in one freaking day here this is absolutely insane okay so uh it was it a shortened battle i don't need barnabas i need rayla and ike is good for this I don't really need you. I have to shoot. That's too many traps, but I like me some traps. Um, it's gone. Oh, that's so. Wait, we have two, we have a lot of traps. This is all we're gonna play is traps. Who's allies in a row? Oh no! I can draw, redraw one card. I'm gonna have to say another. I have to get rid of one of these traps. Grenade will not die this day. <clears throat> Teamwork makes the dream work. I love that. That's really what happened. Uh, which which one did you get? It's weird because it doesn't say <clears throat> the emote is from your channel. It just says it's from Twitch TV. Did it give you any? Sp did it just give you a random emote? So every two turns on turn start, banish a random enemy unit and spawn a phantasm. Uh, I guess we should have. I guess we should have put Rayla out. Let, let's hope. Let's hope we can get Rayla. 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 Dang it. Rayla. Rayla. Yes! I hope they don't banish her. Every two turns. We better put units out, right? The, the, the Catch! Hope. What, are, what are we even supposed to do here? Eliminate the ancient fiend? If we have to do 250 damage to this thing? Oh, I didn't put the fire out. I was supposed to put the fire out. Oh, it's gonna play. It's gonna play phantasms. We actually don't even know what the phantasm does yet. I should have played the, the ale. I should have played the bomber. I don't know why I played him. I actually misclicked. So death wish. Return a unit that was banished. Yes, thankfully, and damage colossal fiend by three times the unit's power. All we have to do is put out like an Ike, and this is like we're in it. Yes, you got the love. You got shake love. Oh, thank you. I'm happy that that was the one that. <laughs> he found it worthy of, of point redemptions. Again, uh, so just so you know, KK uh, and anyone else who's new to the channel, Chris Spleen is Chris Spleen Machine. So the other streamer in the channel is is Spleen Machine. So we're definitely gonna win this fight. There's no doubt in my mind. I smell a reek. Gonna move him up. Um, <clears throat> I think that I may pull out a card. I only need one fire guy. Uh, yeah, I'll pull out. I'll just pull out. Um, I'll pull out uh, Xavier now. <clears throat> Get him right here. I'll give her two more order abilities, and we could just start damaging them. We'll pull out one of these. We'll just get as much damage into her as possible. Although, I can keep moving stuff, so maybe I'll pull out a Gascon. To hope that he he's gonna get more and more powerful as time goes on. So we'll put him out. <clears throat> Coin never stinks, no matter how rank the pouch. And then I'm, I'm... I already have Xavier out. I have everything I need to stack stuff. So I guess it might be in our best interest to either pull out the fire guy, or I'll just pull out a trap, actually. I'll kill this thing. We've got that going. It's so dark and wet. You only have this hype emote, <laughs> but wet. it's a cute one. Which means that you are here for the hype train. Or part of it. Yeah, I am. I am where it's Chris. The other is Chris. <clears throat> Thanks for the lurk, Falco. All right. So now. <clears throat> 
I can start taking this stuff back. I kind of want to just throw fire in the other row. It's kind of pointless, but you mad? if I Don't move him that. backwards with the Stray's Bomber, I'll be in a better position. Okay, so... <clears throat> It's just like, it's almost like I can just move all three of them together. <laughs> and just, just keep moving them up and down the field. <laughs> just beat him up. We're just, he's just gonna, we're gonna move him and the traps with him. He's just got these spike traps that are attached to his head. I know, I like, I like the hype frog. I think it's really, it's really cute. I like the knight hype guy. He's pretty cool too. It seems to be, oh, is your connection? <clears throat> yes, yes, definitely it is. Uh, I, I don't know, again, I don't know what happened yesterday. I, I don't think that our stream has been very janky at all. Uh, Mandrick, or Andy, <laughs> or Talk Papa to me. <laughs> Just clarifying <laughs> that you're all three. <laughs> And anyone who doesn't know it, some people might not even know that you changed your name. Hey, Krath, what's going on, dude? How are you both? Did you guys, you guys come in together? All right. Uh, like, whatever. We'll just move him back down again. It's true. Why not? Um, <clears throat> I guess I could just now. I could put Rainer out now. I, if there's no reason not to, right? Well, you know what? We'll, we'll put out a nail and start boosting our units. <laughs> this guy is toast. All right, now I'll put a Rainer. We must trust each other. So I can pull more stuff out of the deck. The bigger the units, the better. I'm gonna pull out the <clears throat> the guy who does five damage. Pull out another trap. I mean, these guys are just so much better, so... I'm actually just gonna pull out another one of these guys, because this is great to just keep moving them all together. Oh, what a mess it is for him. And now I have an idea, too. I'm gonna use all of my order abilities right now. Uh, hold on. Um, I can use another one on her. Is there anyone else? Oh, yeah, I'll pull another one out. Watch, I'm gonna put this on her, so now she has another order ability, and now I'm gonna pull out another one of these strays, guys. This is just disgusting. We'll hit him. Boom. Hey, everybody. <laughs> I love it. This is a crazy day today. Uh, Mandrick, I'll have you know that something crazy happened today, and I feel like Craft, you'd be interested in this as well. We hit level five. We hit a level five hype train, and actually, like, it, I, I felt like we were in a Starkel stream for a second. I was so confused. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I have no idea what happened today. It was crazy. We're gonna move him again. Look how bad. Look how crazy he's getting. Okay, so now what I'll do is when I play my decoy, I'm gonna take back Rennard and then redo all of the order abilities. Oh, I have another one. Oh, what was I? And here I was wondering how we were gonna do 250 damage. Okay. So now we're gonna decoy Rennard. I almost want to put the traps out before I put him back down again to just maximize the damage. So we'll put one in the back. At this point, I might as well. And I'm also going to put one in the front. Actually, I should have put them both in the back. What was I thinking? More damage. More fun. We haven't even got hit. I know, what is that? I know. No idea what that means. Well, you 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 got up on a hype train that one time on your um you on your puppet show. 
I think it was two weeks ago your puppet show hit that. You were leveling up. Thank you for the water. I keep forgetting about that. That's a good idea. Her Majesty is exceptional. Oh my god, all this water. What is happening? <laughs> I can't even I can't even drink anymore. I'll, I'll finish my bottle in your honor. Um, yeah, sure, we'll do more damage. We will do this. Wait, hold on. Her? Oh, show cards. More damage, more damage. Another one? Wait, what is happening? Are we not using this ability? Oh my god. 3,000 random facts to get through. I can't drink more water than I have beans. I don't know if you think that I'm just gonna go... <laughs> do my water faucet and dump water down my face. <clears throat> that's that's you have you have adequately redeemed enough points, beans, for me to drink this entire thing. I know he just wants me to float away. Beans, beans, we get we get it, beans, beans, we get it, man. <laughs> Okay, I'll move these. <laughs> you get to drink from the fire hose! <laughs> I'll fill another one of those pictures up for you. <laughs> Afterwards. <laughs> I don't want to delay Chris's stream any further by getting up, filling a water pitcher, coming back, and then chugging it. You still have 10k left. Flex it. Look how rich you are. I can't believe how much damage we're doing to this guy. <laughs> this is insane. You know what sucks though? Is that I don't even think we can kill him. After all this. We can't even kill him. Because he's not like... He's not doing his power enough. I only have one more turn. How can I get... Gascon back? This is so awful. I can do five more damage. I can create a trinket and possibly get lucky. I think we're actually gonna end up losing this fight. Which is just... just this is absolutely awful. <clears throat> Oh, no, 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 that's not who I wanted. Oh, I, can I go back? Oh, that's not who I wanted! I can't go back, can I? Oh, it's optional, eliminate the fiend. This could hurt! Well, I screwed that up. Well, it would have just been five damage. It's not like it would have gotten him. We're so close. If I would have put those traps down, if I would have put the traps down first before I did all of this stuff, we would have had this. I almost feel like I want to redo the fight <laughs> just to kill him. Oh, you're out? See ya, Beans. Thanks for hanging out, man. Yeah, <laughs> drink water to go. That's it. I'm just going to put my hydration pack on my back <laughs> and just walk around and drink water all day. Oh, I know we can do it. God bless Does he attack him? My I can't. I can't live with this. I can't live with this. I have to restart. I know we can do it. I'll just, I'll do it really quick. I'll, I'll move my mouse fast, Chris. I'm sorry. Chris, I'm sorry. Everyone who's here for Chris's stream, I'm sorry. I have to do it. I know I can do it. So that's, the, that's the thing. It's like when you know. And so we don't need this. We don't need knickers. Macamail is just buying us time. We want the traps. We can get her out in the second turn and just start pulling traps out. 
So it's going to be fire, fire, her, then let's, let's see if I can find, I don't need the boost. I don't need him. I'll take that. I don't need the health. The boost in my health is, it doesn't even matter. What I really Three want, mm, what I really day. wanted is Xavier. Okay. So let's, let's do this in the correct order and not make any mistakes. We don't need to play these for anything in particular. <clears throat> Watch your heads! <laughs> or can we? We already have Rayla out. No, because I don't want to ruin the decoy. I would love to get Xavier out, but there's other ways to do it. So I just don't see it necessary to pull something random out. Unless I pulled out a trap earlier. It's a very big possibility that I pull out a, sh a slinger. There's no one else with... I just... Basically, I don't want to pull out a Strays of Spala. Everything else I'd be happy with. So let's let's try it. Quick and painful, this will cool. Be. I'll relieve Damn it! That That's right. I still have another one. But Gaskan's cool to get out. Especially early war. It doesn't... I get it. My points don't really matter. Yes, it came out okay. I thought I probably came out awesome. How did you make the chicken? Did you bread it first or or what did you do with that? Okay, so we're gonna put the other fire ability out. Not that we need it on the back row. But it would help us. Catch! Death Wish. Return a unit that was banished and damage a colossal theme by three times that power. It's almost like we don't want to kill the phantasms. Like killing the phantasms is actually making it harder to kill the monster because it's not taking any of our people. Like we want we want his order ability to go off and take our it's guys. It's so dark and wet. Why is it everywhere we go is dark and wet? <laughs> we didn't even hear Barnabas say this last time. Cut the person have dredged him in oh, <laughs> flour and parmesan. He dirty. I, I, I love that and hate that. A lot of times when I cook, I like use everything in my kitchen to make like such a simple thing happen. Um, so we have fire on both rows. I don't even know where this guy came from in our hand. We can, I guess, yeah, we'll play her now. But before... I think we want to get all of our traps out before we start moving them around. So, it'll be in our best interest to get as many traps out as possible. <clears throat> I believe the way this would work. So that's eight more damage. Um, I want to use her order ability to get out Xavier. Get it to work. Pump her up twice. And we can pull out the rest of our traps. We have everything else in our hand to pull out the rest of the things that we need. You see, this is complicated in my mind because... I want to pull out the traps, but it's almost more essential that we play the stray slingers to use use their ability so <clears throat> i'm going to i'm going to play the the stray slingers but i'll put the two traps out first yes so let's just get them out so then i can use their order abilities more frequently think about slings they hide well so now I'll put the both traps out. The first time I put Raynard out, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this out first. I hope this all makes sense. So basically, what I'm doing is I'm putting out the traps, then I'm gonna play my last stray slingers. I'm gonna maximize the amount of stray slingers that I have in my hand before I put Raynard out. And then after I have Raynard out and all their order abilities reprompt, then I'm gonna use the last two to put out two more traps to then stack that. 
It's crazy. I know it sounds crazy, but it's going to work. It'll get us to the points that we need. Okay, so now they're out. Nice. Okay, so now... <clears throat> we're going to get this last guy. So I'm casting Raynard before I put the traps out. Right. So now I can do this. I can move them all together. Up. Down. Up again. And then whack him. If we don't win this, I'm gonna be really, I'm gonna be frustrated. We should be able to kill him now. Mathemat mathematically, I think that makes sense. Set a revelation. This is launched at Last of, uh, Last of Us 2 is going to be a centerpiece of Summerween. Um, I hope, I mean, I don't, I are you going to get it right away, Chris? Do you already have the game? Would you pre-order it? <laughs> Use one plate for everything. <laughs> And hope everything passes the Constitution save. I love that. Well, are you, do you, are you the kind of person, Tibby, that you eat the meal first and then do the dishes? Or do you do the dishes and then eat the meal? Okay, so. Now we play Renard. And all of our order abilities are going to come back. Discipline shall bring us victory. And now... Now we bring out our last two traps before. Oh, see, we can bring out these guys too, though. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if I, I guess I'll have to hope it on the tail end. Technically, this is more damage. It's move three cards. If any were f units, damage them by four. Yeah, four damage is much better than three damage. So, much better. It's one more damage. Yeah, so... My theory is bring out the traps first. And then have him come down. It'll hit trap by three. Well, actually, it'll be three damage, six damage. When I drop the traps, then up with these two, then back again and another six damage from the two traps. Or it would be, so it would be six, 12 damage. Wait, it would be six. Boom. Move down, these will move it down. This will move it back up, down, up, down. So that'll be 12 damage from the traps. Yeah, but actually mathematically makes more sense to bring out the two strays first because these guys are doing four damage a piece plus the extra three damage per trap that I'm moving him with. So let's bring out these two. I, this is the same thing that I did last time. From our I hope this isn't the exact same hole that I put myself into last time. I feel like I, I feel like I'm doing this. I feel like I'm doing this better. Oh, it's only four damage a piece. Oh, dang it! I think it did make sense. So now when I decoy on when I when I decoy on Reynard, I bring out the two traps. Jeez, I hope I'm not screwing this up. You normally do the dishes after I eat. I don't have a lot of counter space. Oh, I got you. I hope you were enjoying your new apartment. 
dishwasher so you could find your drink rack where you keep doing everything else. <laughs> your drying rack. I also like, I want the meal to be hot, you know, so sometimes that's one of the reasons. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good point too. I like, I'll, I'll like clean all the pots and pans sometimes just because I don't want to deal with them and then I hope they're dry after. Like, basically a lot of times I'll cook and I'll, I'll clean all the pots and pans first that I use for the meal to make the meal. And then, because I have a really small kitchen as well, I want them to be dry by the time my meal's done so then when I wash my dishes I have room for those in the drying rack. A stomach virus almost killed me on the weekend? Wait, oh, one weekend. I was like, holy crap. You don't use that stock pot anymore. <laughs> that, that sounds terrible. All right. So now <clears throat> we're gonna put Rainard back out. Company, and we're gonna play march. our traps first. So we're gonna put the two traps here. Put another one down. See how much damage we can get from it. <clears throat> and now we move it up and down. It's gonna take a ton of damage with that now. Did we not do as much damage this time as we did last time? Can we not kill this guy? He's so close to being dead. I'm so annoyed. Actually, if the fire works in our favor, Yes! The fire worked in our favor. We have two more rounds. So basically, I just, I, we really, oh, I can't even play this guy, can I? I smell a leak. Doesn't even matter. We just, we really have to hope RNG works in our favor. There it is! We got the win! RNG. Oh, actually, we had this anyway. We had the, we had the broadsword. We would have won it anyway. There it is! I we didn't even play to, Ike. But keep your weapons at the ready. Hey, you're Maddie. What's up, buddy? We did it. We got the victory. Let's see what happens. In her torch's feeble glow, the queen examined the beast's corpses. <laughs> she could not help but to shudder in disgust. For a stockpot, you use chlorine she to thought. sanitize. We faced it in the dark. Hell yeah! At the corridor's end, they found a closed door. That wasn't easy. Before that literally. Before anyone near, it opened with they a crash. They a really good job balancing this. Beyond thing. lay a circular room. Light shone through a hole in the chamber's ceiling, illuminating a stone pedestal and the sword that lay upon it. Okay. What do we get? Eve gripped the blade's hilt. <gasps> do we get a new weapon for me? Soothing warmth filled her arms and spread across her shoulders. I think we got our first her magical tired weapon. Muscles ceased trembling. Her fingers, stiff as sticks, relaxed. She brandished her prize, the air hissing as the blade sliced through it. I'm so excited. She then nodded approvingly. The reward had been worth the risk. Nice. <gasps> oh, oh, yes! And Granny Blade. This card has been added to your army and can be found in a command center. Look how cool this card looks. Barnabas Beckenbauer, a gleam in his Barnabas, eye, asked to look homie. at the unsheathed sword. The gnome studied the quillions intently, having spotted an inscription there. Can you say what's written there? Asked Meave. Yes, oh, come uh, on. perhaps. Barnabas. They're clear. MVP. The words. Their meaning, not necessarily so. Wieldeth me and loseth not hope amongst the blood red waters. Hmm. It sounds like a riddle that I've no wish to solve. Oh, I should probably should move, move this so you can see the hill. So. How cool this card looks. It's, it's like, I love that art. It looks so cool. <clears throat> this... Sounds like a riddle. I wonder if I wonder if it's gonna be. I wonder if we're gonna know what it does right out of the gate. Yeah, no, I actually think this is where we're gonna wrap it. I want to see what this card is. I want to know what it is first. So now we have a new sword. Wait, is this it? Okay, so shuffle an ally into the deck and play two cards from your deck. 
then trigger all loyalty abilities. Whoa. So is that a played ally? So shuffle an ally into the deck and then play two cards from your deck. That would be... Wow, is that better than what we have? I actually think it might be better than what we have. Because right now we have the broadsword on. It just does four damage. But this can... This would actually be really good with Rayla. Because then we can play Rayla again. I want to put this on just so I know if it's, um, if I get to select things. Is it random or do I get to select them? Because if I can select them, that's, that is insane. Like, that's going to, that's going to add so much strength to our deck. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know that, I do know the game by now. I still have no clue what we're doing. We barely even know what we're doing in this zone. We're just kind of exploring it, I guess. Oh, I have another card. What's the other new card that I have? Oh, this one. Reduce Meave's cooldown to zero. Oh, I didn't realize I had. Oh, we have a lot of these new cards. We have, um... This is a trinket. So, we'll, we will easily put this in. In fact... I am gonna put this in. I'm gonna take out this crow's eye because we never play this. I wanna put this marching orders in because if I could... If this combines with the blade... This is gonna get nutty. This deck is gonna get even. This get this is gonna get crazy. All right, so we got this new card. <clears throat> Damage anybody's whole number of enemy units, which we love. But we we don't like enemy units on a battlefield. We get rid of them. We got this one. Play a Skellige units from your graveyard. I'd like to make a Skellige deck at one point. So you could do some really really crazy stuff with those cards. This is the one that forces the enemy to damage a disgraced warrior by its power, and then deal that damage, uh, then damage the enemy by the disgraced warrior's power. Like, this would be a fun card to play if we really, really boost them. Like, we could get a bunch of cards to, like, boost up the Skellige guys and just focus on boosting the warriors. And we got this as well. Another really beautiful card. Damage self by two and enemies by three. And all the Skellige guys really have, like, Death Witch abilities, which is pretty rad, too. So they boost each other. Okay, it is time to let Chris have have it. I'm sorry, Chris, that we ran over for so long, but what a, what a crazy stream this was.